My beautiful son, Martin, I want you to know how much you are loved by me. I never wanted to let you go. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the most shocking revelation on Long Lost Family. Nicholas, I tried so many times to write that letter. Sorry, go on. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest twists and most surprising stories from the heartwarming documentary series. Which revelation did you find the most emotional? Let us know below. Number 7. Facebook Investigations I got home within two hours, she sent me a uh, Facebook page. Pauline Pedar was forced to give up her baby for adoption after falling pregnant at 14. Fifty years later, she contacted Long Lost Family to try and track her daughter down. Presenter Nikki went to meet Carol Whitehead and let her know that her biological mum was searching for her. But Carol had a secret of her own. A few years previously, she had joined Facebook. Enlisting a friend in a bit of social media stalking, she found Pauline online in the space of a few hours. <laughs> was that the first picture? Yeah, that was the first picture that my friend sent me. Discovering that her mum had other kids, she decided not to make contact, not wanting to cause any trouble. But the show finally brought the mother and daughter together to share an emotional reunion. Oh God, <laughs> that looks just like me. Number six, Katie Tunstall discovers she has sisters. Scottish singer Katie Tunstall had a happy childhood with her adopted family, but managed to track down her birth mother Carol Ann when she was 23. They were able to forge a relationship and the experience encouraged Tunstall to search for her father too. Sadly, long lost family discovered that her dad, John, had passed away in 2002. But that was not the end of the story. Katie discovered two half-sisters on her father's side. With your sisters? Wow! They were able to share stories of their dad and reveal that John had once kept a photo of baby Katie in his wallet. The singer said, I just feel so much relief. I found his face, I found out who he is, I found his daughters, they are just lovely. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Number 5. Martin learns why he was adopted. Martin Smith always wondered why his mother gave him up. The thought that he was unwanted as a baby haunted him throughout his life. But Long Lost Family finally gave him some answers. So you've never seen one of you as no. a baby? No. no. Would you like to? After getting in touch with his mum, they were able to present Martin with the first photo he'd ever seen of himself as a baby. With it came the knowledge that his mother had never forgotten him. She did look after you for six or seven months, but she ended up on the streets, basically. She was sleeping in a park. At 16, she'd found herself sleeping rough and having to beg for money to feed herself and her child. My beautiful son, Martin, I want you to know how much you are loved by me. I never wanted to let you go. She hung on to him for six months, but eventually realised that she had to give him up. Their reunion squashed the last of his doubts and some long-held feelings of rejection. <laughs> Number four, her sisters were together and were looking for her too. When Christine Rose was four years old, her mother was prosecuted for neglect. She can still remember the night she was taken from her home. She was placed in a separate children's home from her two sisters, who she never saw again. That is, until Long Lost Family did some digging. I need to know if they're all right. Well, they are okay. Are they? We found your sisters. <laughs> In this emotional episode, Christine discovered that her sisters had been kept together. They were alive and well, and they'd been looking for her for over 20 years. The three women were finally reunited. <laughs> they all had questions, but were relieved to discover that after a difficult start in life, they had all gone on to lead happy lives. Number three the sister who stayed in the house. Nicholas Rhodes went looking for his birth mother after losing the adopted parents who gave him a happy childhood. 
I've always, you know, even when I was a kid, you know, I'd ask questions, I'd ask only mummies. But I've always I had the worry that I was going to upset somebody else's life. After discovering the address where he was born, he drove to the house to see whether it would provide him with any answers. But he just couldn't bring himself to take that final step and knock on the door. After getting in touch with long lost family, he learned that if he had knocked that day, he would have met his half sister, Kaylee. Nicholas, I tried so many times to write that letter. Oh, sorry, go on. Nicholas's mother gave him up as a baby, hoping he would have a better life. But his sister had remained in the family home, hoping that one day he might come back. Oh my God. Hello, sis. Oh my God. The show facilitated their emotional reunion. Number two, the babies in the red tartan bags. Another foundling case took the long lost family crew back to Ireland to dig into the mystery of two babies left in red tartan bags. I was discovered on the front seat of the car in a tartan bag that I was placed in with my feet out of the bottom of the bag and I was wrapped in a blue and white shawl. Back in the 60s, David was found in a car in Belfast. A few years later, Helen was discovered in a telephone box over the border in Dundalk. The foundlings turned out to be full siblings. Their mother was Catholic, their father was Protestant and married. Their affair lasted 30 years, but there was no place for the children of the Union in either world. There was always those questions, who, what, when, where and why. You always want to know those. Although their parents had passed away, David and Helen were delighted to find each other. In an additional twist, a third sibling was discovered after the show aired, making their unconventional family complete. Number one, two parents and some life-saving information. But we had no choice, did we? Oh no, we had no choice, but it still doesn't get away from the fact that, that we don't know. Gave him away. Yeah. Simon Day's biological parents gave him up for adoption as a baby. They felt that they were too young to give him the life he deserved. However, after discovering a genetic heart condition that was likely to be inherited, they were determined to track him down. Hello. <laughs> Simon's birth mum and dad encouraged him to see a specialist and they may have found him just in time. The doctor discovered that he was in need of an immediate quadruple bypass as he had four blocked arteries. Simon says, there's no question that by finding me and warning me, my dad saved my life. They said that if he did not have bypass surgery, he would be dead within a matter of weeks. Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.